It is time to train our worker to respond to different URLs and providing different responses. For these purposes, let's use any PSR compatible router. In our case, let's use leak route package for these purposes. Now we have to initiate this router. For more information, you can follow through the official documentation of the legal router. Here we go. And instead of producing the response uh, manually, as we're doing right now, we can let the router to handle our request. All we need to do now to enable routing is to register couple endpoints within our router. So let's do that. Let's create an endpoint which is going to be handling the main page or just a simple slash. This function will receive server request interface, the default interface provided by PSR package, and provide the default response. In this case, let's just say that this is main page and provide the status code 200. To respond for different URL, all we have to do is to register a new route and update the body. Let's try to run this code using error serve command and see how our browser reacts to our newly created routing. As you can see now, we are opening the home page and the news page. This is how you can implement routing without any frameworks.